Hello, a question that I get asked quite a lot is, how do I install dependencies in Python uh, conditionally and on specific platforms? So for instance, like I only want to install something on Windows or I only want to install it on an ARM64 Mac or I only want to install it when it's PyPy, things like that. Uh, it turns out there is a built-in way to do this in the dependency specification. Uh, and this has been around for quite a long time. There used to be an old syntax for it. I'm not gonna show you the old syntax because it's it's really not relevant anymore. Uh, if someone needs the old syntax, they're probably stuck on a machine from 10 years ago. Uh, but anyway, this was specified in PEP 508, and uh, it actually worked before that, but this sort of you know, formalized that specification. Uh, and PEP 508 spells out how dependencies are specified in things like requirements.txt or install requires if you're doing like you know, setup.py or, or uh, specifying dependencies for a library. And uh, the environment specifier, I believe they use the term marker when they're talking about it, is the part after the semicolon, and this is optional. Uh, this is one common example of markers, which is based on the Python version. But there are a whole bunch of different markers, and you can kind of see them in this giant <laughs> you know, grammar specification here. Uh, but they have a table down here that's a little bit more useful. Uh, and you can use any of these to conditionally depend on a library. Uh, and this can be done either in requirements.txt, as I said earlier, or in anything else that you can put one of these uh, requirements specifiers. Now, the ones that I find the most useful, uh, I don't use OS name. I use sysplatform a bit. I've used platform machine once or twice. I've used the Python platform Python implementation, a little bit of fun wrapping here. I've used this a few times. Um, and I think the only other one I've used is... Uh, Python version. Oh, actually, this is way more useful. Implementation name is way more useful than platform Python implementation because this is a this is a normalized value, whereas this is like the weird capitalization form. Um, and so those are those are the specifiers that I use the most. I want to show you a few examples of these and show you how they execute when you actually install them. Uh, the first example actually comes from Babby, which is my text editor, and it actually uses two different ones of these. Uh, the first is a dependency that's only installed on Windows. So you can see there's this Windows-curses package. Uh, curses or end curses, which I've, I've done a few videos on, uh, comes out of the box on most POSIX-like platforms, but on Windows, you have to install a third-party library that drops in and augments the Python standard library to make it work correctly. Uh, so I only need this package on Windows, and I don't need it anywhere else. Uh, this is another example of an environment specifier. This one is to conditionally install a library based on the Python version. So import lib metadata is a backport of the import lib metadata uh, standard library module, which was introduced in Python 3.8. So I only need this package on things that are older than 3.8. So that's why it's a less than here. And there's a bunch of different operators that are supported here. I think most of the, most of the time I'm either using equals or sorry, less than equals equals or does not equal. Uh, of course, it supports all the other operators that you would need to, I believe. Where is it? Env var. Env var. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to try and read this. I did once translate this to Rust, but anyway. Uh, I'm guessing that it's these comparisons here, but it's, it might be a few other operators. Uh, but anyway, when that installs, let's say that we were to install something like that. Let's actually just copy uh, that set of install requires to a requirements.txt just to show you how it would execute. Requirements.txt, put that in here. We got a bunch of dependencies here. Uh, and if we were to pip install dash r requirements.txt, you'll see on a Linux machine, it's going to skip Windows cursors. So these are the packages that we, or sorry, <laughs> on a Linux machine, it's going to skip Windows cursors. Uh, if we were to go over to a uh, Windows machine, for example, uh, let's make a virtual env. Oh, we have a virtual env. Well, we'll just delete this virtual env. Python dash mvm vm. And it takes forever because it is both Windows and it is the standard of vm module, so it's much slower than the, oh, and the vm scripts activate. There we go. Uh, and so if we were to open up Babby of a requirements.txt file and paste in the stuff we had before and write that out and do pip install dash r requirements.txt, 
you'll see this time that it's actually going to pull in, well, <laughs> why didn't that work? <laughs> oh, because this is too old of a version. All right, we're going to we're gonna temporarily um, <laughs> remove this library from here. I'm using such an old version of Python that it doesn't properly support uh, some of the wheels that I'm providing. Uh, but you'll see here that it was that it did pull in the Windows Curses package, and that was due to this bit here, collecting Windows Curses from line four. Uh, and so that allows you to depend on something conditionally based on the platform. And I guess we also pulled in, we also happened to pull in another environment specifier due to a transitive dependency uh, that's also conditionally versioned. Uh, but anyway, that's platform specifiers and PEP 508. So hopefully you found that useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.